Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building the German style of uh, World War II half-track in Minecraft. Alright, so today we've got uh, basically the other type of uh, half-track, uh, of World War II half-track. So basically in World War II, um, half-tracks were only a thing um, with the, 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 Ger the German army and the American army. Um, I'm sure some other armies had them, but they weren't as um, as iconic as especially the German one. I think the German one was the first one and then the Americans came along with their version. Uh, I put this one in a previous video. Um, this is the American, I think it's called the M3. You can check out the video on that on my channel if you want to. Uh, but today we're gonna be building this one. Uh, so. Uh, basically, um, uh, I'm gonna try to pronounce the name. Uh, it's called the Sonderkraftfahrzeug something, um, and uh, uh, 251, I believe. Um, it's not a very catchy name, um, so I'm not gonna try to pronounce it again. Uh, my German is obviously not on point. Um, so basically, uh, I can tell you some stuff about it though. Uh, so it is um, basically or was designed to be a sort of a troop transport. Um, now I believe they uh, were primarily designed to be carrying uh, Panzer Grenadiers or Panzer Grenadier units um, and uh, the vehicles had uh, anti-infantry fire uh, armor uh, so basically, uh, armor that uh, wouldn't be able to be uh, penetrated by um, infantry, normal infantry uh, rifles. Um, so pretty much like modern style troop transports. Uh, no, some of the modern ones obviously have uh, thicker armor, but this is generally the idea with uh, with troop transports. You want to have some type of vehicle that can traverse. Um, some rough terrain, uh, has as much space uh, on the inside for the infantry as possible, uh, uh, but also isn't too complex and too expensive and uh, is reasonably uh, quick as well. Um, and uh, maybe has some anti infantry weapons on the outside as well. So basically, the, uh, the half track was a, a, a concept of uh, the troop transport that was developed. Uh, I would say right before and during World War II. After that, it it just uh, didn't really stick around. Uh, I'm not sure what the reasons are for that, uh, but generally uh, the more modern troop transports are uh, or have always been uh, just wheeled. Uh, so basically, six by six or eight by eight vehicles. Um, so basically, uh, this. Um, as the name suggests is a half track so basically the back part or the um, basically uh, the the power transmitting part is a, a track or two tracks on the under the back of the vehicle and then on the front we've got some regular normal wheels like a like a truck for example and um, it makes it um, makes it somewhat like a tank in uh, in the, um, the the sense that it can traverse quite rough terrain, uh, but also the front wheels are there for turning, obviously, uh, which uh, makes it uh, easier to turn and uh, more maneuverable, I guess, easier to drive. Uh, now, this one, the German version, had um, a, a system uh, by which. Uh, a certain sort of degree of uh, of steering angle uh, at a certain degree of steering angle angle uh, not only uh, the the vehicle would not only uh, be steering with the wheels with the front wheels but it would also use uh, a, a tank steering system so basically it would break one side of the of the tracks um, so that way it could um, it could turn uh, basically in a tighter radius uh, I'm not sure how the Americans had that, if they only had um, steering by 
uh, by the wheels, or by the front wheels, or uh, if they if they had differential steering as well. I'm not sure how they did it, um, but on this one it was quite complex actually. Um, so other similarities, um, you can see that it is open on the top, just like the American one. Uh, so basically, it's got two ports on the front, uh, two viewing ports uh, for the driver, I guess, and the and the. Uh, uh, the, the basically probably the uh, commander of the vehicle which would be sitting next to the driver and then above that there is uh, some uh, bulletproof shielding and uh, usually a machine gun some of these vehicles were also fitted with um, a larger gun or different types of larger guns I guess but mostly uh, they have machine guns and then in the back it has a an empty or um, an uncovered um, basically crew compartment I guess and uh, the theory behind that is um, I believe that basically if uh, if the vehicle is attacked the infantry can uh, obviously shoot over the top of the of the armor uh, on the sides uh, and also uh, they can dismount the vehicle quickly um, for example um, I don't know. A tank comes around the corner, and uh, you can't do much uh, if if you're faced with a tank in this vehicle. So, basically, the only thing you can do is just uh, jump over the the edge, uh, jump over the the side, and uh, try to hide uh, as a soldier. Um, now, the obvious disadvantage of this design, the, the open top design, uh, would be that. Uh, you can easily throw a, a nice grenade in here and uh, cause quite a bit of um, quite a bit of trouble. Uh, so obviously that's not the best. Um, but overall, uh, they built quite a lot of these things. I think they're quite iconic um, for for the German army in the, the Second World War. And uh, I think they they did their role uh, quite reasonably. Um, so. I think uh, we're gonna uh, build this one uh, right now and uh, maybe I'll remember something else and uh, tell you something else about it. Okay, so let's start with the with the tracks first of all because they're uh, probably the most difficult part of this vehicle to build. So we're gonna have uh, some blocks at the ends of the tracks, some, so, some uh, black uh, blocks, I've got black concrete here. Uh, and we're gonna have five blocks in between, so three, four, five. There we go. And then um, we're gonna have blocks on the bottom, like this. That's gonna be the bottom of our uh, of our track. It's sort of a sort of a hack to put the blocks under or uh, in in line with the floor. And then I'm gonna use some trapdoors to uh, make wheels. Um, to make uh, driving wheels for this, for the track. Uh, I didn't talk about the, the track style. Um, the track is very similar to uh, like um, a Tiger track, a Tiger tank track that we've, uh, we've built the Tiger tank quite recently actually. You can check out the video on the Tiger tank uh, on my channel as well. But uh, basically it's got this uh, very iconic German track design. Um, in which it's got sort of inter interweaved uh, wheels and lots of them. Now, obviously, on the on the uh, on the Tiger tank, um, there's more wheels uh, per uh, per track than than on this thing because that thing is much 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 heavier. Um, so this thing doesn't need to distribute that much weight. Um, so it's got I think two sets of wheels so one inner and one outer wheel on um, on each um, basically axle um, so you've got two sets of wheels connected on a, a single axle and then they're sort of inter interweaved um, one row is uh, sort of slightly um, placed a bit outward and one is placed a bit inward and that's pretty much how it works uh, very cool stuff uh, obviously it had 
pretty much the same problems as um, the other vehicles that used this type of uh, wheel system uh, for the for the tracks, uh, which mainly was uh, that if uh, well, first of all, it was quite expensive and uh, difficult to maintain. Obviously, I've got a whole bunch of wheels um, just sitting there waiting to break. Uh, and uh, quite difficult to fix um, but also in uh, in colder climates where um, where ice would be a problem uh, it could also it could uh, sort of get in uh, some mud or uh, or some stuff could that could get in between some of the wheels because they're quite close together and it would freeze and you basically you wouldn't be able to move uh, the vehicle after that so that was quite problematic. Um, okay, while I was uh, talking, I just built this uh, basically what the track looks like. Um, so you've got the carpet, the black carpet on top, obviously, and we've got these wheels. Uh, also, let's just remove. Um, let's see. Did I remove the? Yeah, we're gonna remove some some of these things here. Um, because we're gonna have some end rods here um, because we need some axles obviously to uh, at least some axles to look the part um, obviously each each of these wheels would be connected to an axle on a real vehicle and the, the two would be connect two wheels would be connected uh, as well uh, so but I can't really do that. Um, effectively with these uh, trap doors because they're sort of weird and uh, not really blocks uh, per se so I'm just gonna do two axles just so it looks like something at least um, okay so we've got this uh, I didn't say the vehicle is four blocks wide so we're just gonna um, we're just gonna build the other track actually let's do that so uh, that's three four okay that's gonna be the width of our of our tracks and we're gonna build the the other track exactly the same as we did uh, the first one so just uh, put the, the black concrete there on the underneath the floor uh, and then we're gonna go for I really need to turn off the auto jump it's so annoying uh, I'm gonna have to do that anyway uh, we've got some uh, trapdoors uh, on the inside there of the of the block, and then we've got some here on the outside. Uh, but then we've got some more here on the outside. There we go, and this is pretty much our track. We just have to cover it in uh, black carpet, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be grand. I didn't talk about what blocks am I using to build this. I found this dead coral block, um, which is I think part of the new well, 1.13 um, expansion, I guess. Uh, so uh, it kind of looks kinda, it looks kind of cool actually, uh, because these German things uh, or vehicles didn't really have um, a standard camouflage most of the time, uh, not like. The olive, the um, the allies had their olive or um, some other countries. Uh, the Germans sort of, well, I guess it really depended on where uh, in the world the vehicles were. But generally, I think um, they uh, the units painted their vehicles um, themselves. So basically, they didn't have a, a standard pattern. They just sort of adapted them to the environment. And I, I found this block, and it sort of lacks looks like some sort of German camouflage um, and so naturally I had to I had to go for it uh, so that's what uh, what we're using to build this vehicle today uh, it's not a lot of blocks because we got a lot of stairs and stuff but um, it's not the worst either there's some there's some uh, I've put some like slabs there for for whatever reason I'm not sure why that's a thing there's just some weird sort of slabs in the middle there 
Um, I guess I use them to connect uh, the the axles there instead of the actual um, instead of the actual uh, the actual end rods because obviously they're not going to be able to connect to the uh, to the upper block. So that's the way we're going to do it. And then just uh, cover the rest in this coral, coral box. Um, and then we're gonna go with the front first of all. So we're gonna have another set of wheels, obviously. Uh, these are only gonna be one block apart from the from the tracks. Um, and we're gonna connect them uh, with uh, some end rods as well, like this. And then uh, we're just gonna put some blocks over top like that we're gonna have some uh, stairs this uh, half track has a very steep uh, sort of front end design uh, obviously that's uh, for armor purposes because um, the steeper the armor is the the, the, uh, the thinner it needs to be um, or it th I should say it doesn't need to be as thick um, because obviously reasons uh, so we're gonna have some mud guards on the sides, some fenders I should say, um, and another one here. So we're just gonna use a stone slab and a, a stone brick stair on the side there. Um, okay, there's pretty much our front, uh, and then after this we're gonna have some uh, some ovens, some furnaces. As I as I said before, we've got some a couple of viewing ports here on the on the front. Um, this v this half truck is much more heavily armored than the American counterpart. The, the American uh, the the American one doesn't even have uh, much in in the sense of like um, front armor for for the uh, the driver. Uh, this one is quite heavily armored in the front actually. And then on the sides we're gonna have uh, just some more of these of these stairs, and uh, they're just gonna go. On like this. Uh, now the side of, of this uh, vehicle in real life has has this uh, really cool sort of uh, triangular angled armor, and I sort of wanted to um, bring that into Minecraft with with these stairs. All right. Uh, after we've done this, we can do the back. The back is sort of angled upwards, so we've got some uh, stairs on the bottom, and then we've got some more on on top, like this. Pretty much, okay. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna put in some black carpet on the bottom here, uh, just so it doesn't look uh, only one block thick or deep, um, because it would be it would be deeper. But obviously, I can't do, I can't make it deeper because you would see it underneath. So we're gonna have to go for that for this uh, sort of thing. And then uh, we're gonna have some sort of armor with in form of a a stair on the on the right side here or on the left side, I should say. And then on the right side, we're gonna have the the machine gun basically, which is gonna consist of an anvil right here. We could also have a slab just holding it holding it on like this and then have a couple of end rods for the barrel. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. We can also add some nice lights to the front that's gonna bring bring out the uh, the front end of this vehicle. Uh, so let's uh, get some item frames and put them on the on the fenders and we're gonna need some sort of uh, bright blocks such as uh, a block of gold that's pretty nice uh, and we could also have a couple of buttons on the front wheels uh, just to bring out uh, the wheels a bit and uh, I think that's pretty much it for our German uh, World War 2 half track in Minecraft uh, so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you liked it you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also check out my other videos and I will see you next time.